Chuckers, why are you so bummed, man? Because we lost the Super Bowl. Yeah, our team did not win. We were che we were cheering for the Seahawks, right? Yeah. Yeah, and they lost. But I bet there's a lot of Patriots fans out there, yeah. and they're excited. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're excited, though, for a new week, aren't yeah. we? For a new week of art? Yes. Yes, we are. We're excited to do a ton more drawings this week. We have a ton of mail that we're going to open up today, and we also have a lot of emails that we're going to show off. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Before we do that, though, we're going to talk about colored pencils. Okay. And the reason why is because we sent out an email to all of our blog subscribers, and we asked them what they wanted to learn next, and they said colored pencils. And they also said watercolor, so we're going to do that too, but we're going to first start with colored pencils. Yeah. Sound like fun? Yes. Yes. So we have a bunch of colored pencils here, and we've got three different brands. We've got this kind of really generic brand that's the Fine Touch, and it's super cheap, and you can get 48 for $10. So that's okay. a great deal, and this is an okay place to start. The middle brand is by Pring, and you can get... Uh, 24 for ten dollars. So they're twice as expensive, right? Yeah Then you can get the most expensive one and it's you can get 48 colored pencils for how much? 90 bucks. $90 and it's a lot cheaper on Amazon if you have a prime account and if you get it at Hobby Lobby There's a there's a, a coupon that you can use for 40% off and you can almost get it for as cheap as prime on mm -hmm. Amazon cool yeah. So it's expensive, but you can get it a little cheaper than $90. We did not pay $90. We paid half that, right? Yeah. All right, so let's show this off. We want to show our art friends what you get when you pay for when you buy one of these, okay? okay. So we're going to we're going to compare all three of them. We'll put those off to the side, and what we did was we picked the same color from each of those. We tried to pick. Them. Yeah, we tried to pick the same color from each of those. So we got a yellow, an orange, and we have a uh, purple and we also have a dark blue now the problem with the cheap um, the cheaper brands is that they a lot of times don't put the name yeah. on the on the on the colored pencil you know what we should have done is we should have also tested uh, Crayola but maybe we'll get some and we'll, we'll talk about those later but this is a cheap brand this is the fine touch doesn't have a name on it and then um, also, the middle one that we got, the Prang, it also doesn't have a, uh, a name on it. Prismacolor is an awesome brand. They're they are expensive, but they're expensive for a reason because they are the best quality that you can get. And we'll show that later. It does have a name on it, and it also has a code here. So because if you run out of this, you, you uh, sharpen it all the way down to nothing, you can buy just that color from, Prisma, from Prismacolor and then replace that instead of buying the whole set. We're going to test these next to each other, all right? And we're going to show what happens when you blend them. So we're going to start with the dark blue, and this is a violet blue. And the first thing that you'll notice when using the really expensive brand is that it goes down thick and really super, super dark and bright. The colors are rich, and we're going to blend it out, okay? Okay. So we're going to do this with each of these. We're going to just do the middle one next. We'll start thick and then we'll kind of shade out to nothing and we're going to blend these all and show what happens with each of them. What do you notice with this one, dude? This is the cheapest one. That it doesn't go down dark. It doesn't go down dark and it almost, it doesn't even match. Look at yeah. that. That's like a light blue and we're trying, we thought we were using a dark blue. So that's one of the downsides to using kind of the cheaper brands is you don't even know, sometimes you won't get what, you, what you're expecting. So now we're going to blend with the purple on top of the blue and do the same thing. Start dark, get lighter. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Blending. It's blending. We're going to go out to nothing. And then we're going to get the middle one. Not as dark, is it? Yeah. Everything is a little bit lighter, The cheap, kind of the cheaper brand as uh, when you get cheaper. Less expensive, I should say. So we're gonna put this one down, and look at that. Oh man. Bum, bum, bum. Wah, wah, wah. So it's okay. I mean, if this is what you can, if this is what you can get, this is this is better than nothing, and I really do mean that. But I do want to show this because I think it'll help our art friends when they're picking out colored pencils for our future um, art activities. All right. So now we got the orange. And we're going to blend the orange on right on top of the 
purple and yes it's gonna look a little brown but I wanted to show what happens so we got that going down and then we get lighter let's do another layer I should probably do another layer on all of them so there we go I don't want to cheat by uh, doing extra layers on so here we go here's the light I'll do a couple layers on top of this one it's going down I'm pre I gotta press super hard to get this to go down dark so we'll do another layer on top get it to blend all right and then the cheap one the less expensive one <laughs> pressing super hard to try and get it to go down dark and I'm shaking the table so much oh that's hurt my wrist and the reason why it why it does this is because pigment so the color that is called a pigment and it costs a lot of money to put pigment in art supplies and so you pay when you pay pay more money you you typically get more pigment in the in the art medium and so it it you don't have to press as hard to get it to go down dark and it just naturally looks a little bit more richer this has a lot of binder in it, and that's what keeps the pigment together. Oh. And so it just it doesn't look as bright. Okay, let's do the last one. We got our yellow. We're going to go on top. And what well, the reason why I picked these colors is because I wanted it to look as if we were making a sunset. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a sunset? Yeah. So we'll go back up and down. Blend those out okay I'm gonna do the middle one I gotta press super hard too on this one <laughs> and the last the last yellow come on baby <laughs> blend What I wanted to show uh, by demonstrating this is uh, kind of unlike the oil pastels. So oil pastels, we, we uh, really like the Pentel brand and it's super cheap. It's really, it's not very expensive and it works. It's really, they're really fun to use and the quality is actually really, is, is a great quality, okay? Mm -hmm. But with colored pencils, it's a little bit different. I think your best choice to start out when you're when you're brand new to colored pencils, I think your best choice is probably the middle one because you don't have to spend as much. Yeah. $90, $10. <laughs> yeah. It's not, you don't get as much. Let's see, what was it again? So you get 40, 48, so 24. So uh, you would have to, to get the same amount of colors, you'd pay 20 bucks versus 90, right? So that's a pretty good deal. And then this would be, if you can if you can afford it, I think this is number two. Well, this would actually be number one if you can afford it. Yeah. But number two, and then this one is definitely a last. I would not try to pick the cheapest colored pencil possible. Because yeah. I think you get a little bit better quality if you pick the middle one. We hope that this side-by-side -side comparison helps you in picking out your colored pencils. And if you already have a set, that's awesome. Because we're going to do some really cool art with them, right? Yeah. Yes. All right, you ready to open up some mail? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, this first one's from Josie, and they're from Huntsville, Alabama, and they sent us a ton of, of art. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, we got an owl. Look yeah. at the colors, man. You did such a great job coloring that one. Look at that. What is that? Wolf. Wolf. That's not a wolf. Well, no, fox. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're losing your mind. That's a fox. <laughs> and what's that? Oh, oh. A hippo. Yeah, it's so cool. I love how they colored all the water. You got little fish in there. It's so cool. I really like that one a lot. Yeah. And then we also got... <laughs> That's a really beautiful uh, blue jay, huh? Yeah. That's, they did such a great job on that. I love how they colored it, too. And then we got a T-Rex, a red T-Rex. <laughs> so awesome. Good job, Josie. Yeah. And they wrote us a letter and said, Dear Art for Kids, you have taught me so much. I love your videos. 
I hope you like the pictures. Thank you. Thank you, Josie, for sending in your art. We loved it all. This one's from Alyssa. And she said, I'm in second grade and I'm seven. I love your videos and drawings. From Alyssa. That's so cool. I bet that's a drawing of her, huh? Self-portrait. <laughs> Such a good job, Alyssa. Thank you for sending that in. Okay, this one's from Abigail and it says, I love your show. And she drew a really cool owl. And she's even got stars in there. Check it out. And I love how she colored it. Guess what's on top of this owl, dude? A crown. Yes. She's the queen of the forest. I even like the eyelashes she put on there. She did such a good job. So this one's from Caden. And it says, Dear Rob and Chuckers, every day I watch your videos. <laughs> what? Every day I watch your videos, I'm in third grade. <laughs> Is that cool? Yeah. This is another Blue Jay on pink paper. I like it. <laughs> it's really cool. This next one is from Abigail. She sent us in another drawing, huh? Yeah. And this one is a little mermaid. It's really cute. And she has a crown too. I love it. Hi. And she wrote a letter just for just for Hads. And she's asking Hads if she wants to be her friend. I'm sure Hads would love to be her friend. Abigail, good job on your drawing. We love it. We're going to put it up on the wall with all the other ones, huh? Yeah. This one's from Noam, huh? Yeah. He, oh, that's such a cool drawing of Squidward. He looks so grumpy, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> What's the other ones he's got? Oh, cool. Baymax. And what else? Oh, piano. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's cool. That We did that one a while ago. Yeah. You did a great job on that. And the last one is Yoshi. And they also wrote a letter. It says, Dear Art for Kids Hub, each day I watch your videos. Please put these pictures on the wall. We will know them. Thanks for sending them in. You did a great job. Oh, look, dude. Who's that? I forgot. <laughs> Elsa. Elsa. I didn't forget. <laughs> I was seeing if Checkers remembered. This one's from Carly, and she wrote a letter. Dear Art for Kids Hub, I love your YouTube channel so much. I also love drawing so much. I like your YouTube channel because you teach me how to draw and so many skills and techniques. I sent you a copy of my drawing. I really hope you like it. And that's really... <laughs> Can't get that. <laughs> you know what I really like about what she did? She sent us a copy. She didn't send us the actual drawing. And that's a great idea for you guys sending in your art. If you don't want to send us your original art, Take a copy of it and send us a copy and you keep the original. Cool idea, huh? Yeah. Yes. Okay, this next one's from, who's this from? Sophia. Yeah, what did they draw? What'd she draw? Om nom. Om nom from Cut the Rope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's my favorite little alien. You did such a great job, Sophia. I love how you colored him. You did an awesome job. Dominic sent us a drawing and it's a crazy little face, huh? Yeah. Way to go, Dominic. <laughs> uh, Hunter Drew, what is that? Uh, killer killer whale? whale? Yes, an awesome killer whale. Good job, <laughs> Hunter. Okay, and our last one is from Cameron. And they drew, who's that? Olaf. Olaf, and then on the back they got a pea shooter. <laughs> and also, Zombie. Zombie and uh, gumball. Gumball. And on this letter they drew, who's that? Uh, Mordecai. Yeah, and on the letter it says, Dear Rob, thank you for showing me how to draw. At first I thought I was a terrible artist. Are you kidding me? These are awesome, uh, huh? Yeah. You did a great job. It's not a terrible artist. <laughs> After watching my first video, though I was confident in myself to keep drawing, also I was wondering if you can draw Darth Vader and a bass. That's a cool fish. Yeah. I personally play the violin. I hope you enjoy my drawings. Sincerely, Cameron May. Cameron, thanks for sending in your art, and thanks to all of our art friends for mailing in your cool pictures. It's one of our favorite things, huh? Yeah. To open up their mail? Yes. Some of our art friends don't know how to send us mail. What's our address? P.O. Box 97 Pleasant Grove, Utah 84062. Yes, 84062. Now we got a ton of emails to show them too, don't we? Yeah. All right, let's do it right, right now. now.